Winter weather forecast for Canada. Hello and welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. Chilly nights and snow covered slopes may not be easy to come by much of the Canada during the first part of the winter season, according to the winter outlook from one Canada's prominent forecasters. The weather network predicts El Nino conditions will lead to above average temperatures and lower than normal precipitation levels in much of the country, particularly in the western and central Canada. While the trend is expected to hold throughout the winter in British Columbia and Prairie provinces, the network said areas further east may see more variable conditions as the season progresses. It's an El Nino unlike anything we have quite seen before and that means there could be few surprises in store this year for the Canadians said the chief meteorologist at the weather network. Yes, El Nino means mild but we have going to be have a watch for the change midwinter that could lead us to down a different road than we have been down before. The forecaster said El Nino is associated with the warmer than normal ocean temperatures in the tropical region of the Pacific Ocean to the west of the South America, which affects the global jet stream pattern. British Columbia is expected to have the milder and drier than normal winter for much of the season and the weather network said in a press release, though there could be few periods of excessive rainfall. The Prairie Province, especially Alberta, should also expect milder winter with below normal snowfall across western and central parts of the region. And Scott noted that the Edmonton has so far seen no snow in November, something that last happened almost 100 years ago. For Western Canada, this is the winter that you would worry more than normal about having a brown Christmas. But more traditional winter conditions could return to the prairie for the January and February, Scott said especially in the Manitoba. The network anticipates a similar story to play out in Ontario and Quebec where residents are slated to enjoy warmer temperatures and less snow than normal before things could take a turn for the colder. El Nino tends to have its biggest influence on the Western Canada because it's a Pacific Ocean phenomenon, meteorologist explained. By the time jet stream makes its way to the southern Ontario and Quebec, it either continues east or travels south instead. The forecast for the Atlantic Canada, meanwhile, suggests the region is in for the near normal winter with the periods of the mild weather offset by colder stretches. Precipitation too will be near normal except for the southern maritimes and the southeastern tip of the Newfoundland, which could see above normal levels. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.